Hey, my name is Ben. Thanks for stopping by. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to install a hard start kit on an air conditioner or heat pump. If you're in a pinch and you have a compressor that won't start, this is something that you can definitely consider trying. Now let's go ahead and get this installed on this air conditioner. This is our AC disconnect. This is usually the easiest way to disconnect power to your unit. Sometimes you gotta turn off a breaker in your panel or there might even be a big switch on the side of it, but usually you open this up and you pull out the disconnect or possibly turn off a switch depending on the situation. Now this is specifically a last ditch method to hopefully get your air conditioner or heat pump to go for a while longer. I will link to it in the description of this video. Sometimes older compressors begin to have more internal wear to where it takes more torque to get the compressor to start initially. It's not always the case that the compressor is imminently failing but it most likely is. Usually, if you use a hard start kit, you're gonna get a little bit more time out of your air conditioner. Sometimes quite a while though, so it just really depends on. So now that we know that our power is disconnected, we'll go ahead and just double verify that it is disconnected by taking our electrical tester and in volts alternating current and just making sure that there's no power there. There's not, coming in, going out, nothing there. And then we just need to identify where the capacitor is in this particular box. Right down here, this is the contactor. And then coming off the contactor, one of the red wires goes over here to the common terminal on our dual capacitor. The reason this is called a dual capacitor is because it is both serving the fan and the compressor inside of this unit. So right over here is our common, so it's our power coming into the capacitor essentially. The purple wire is supplying power to the fan, uh, but it doesn't really matter, it's kind of irrelevant. Power comes in on the common, and then it's going out on the herm and the fan terminal back there. So this one right here is our terminal that feeds our compressor. If you don't have a capacitor that's working, your compressor won't start. And actually, we just finished replacing the capacitor in this particular unit because it had failed, and I wasn't sure if it was the capacitor or if we were going to need to add a hard start kit or if it was going to be a bad compressor. It ended up being a bad capacitor, so this unit is actually working right now, uh, but if it was not, this would be the next step I would take, installing this hard start kit. This claims to increase starting torque by up to 500%, which is a pretty significant boost if that compressor is just somehow a little bit hung up and needs that little bit of extra to get going again. A lot of times we end up reusing these uh, hard start kits. We try it, see if it makes it go, and if it doesn't, then we end up having to replace the compressor or replace the entire unit. Now before I touch these uh, terminals on this capacitor, we're gonna take a screwdriver and cross between all of those to make sure that there's no residual power on this capacitor. You also wanna wear safety glasses or close your eyes or something when you cross these in case there is any sparks or arcing that occurs. Those cross between these two, cross between the fan, and then also short out to the side of the case. All right, nothing there, so we're good to go. Now we'll take our hard start kit and you can see there are several different ways to mount this. There's actually like a, a spot where you can screw it into the cabinet or you can hang it on something else. Usually that's what I end up doing, hanging on something or even use zip ties. But then we're gonna take the leads coming out of it. And it's kind of neat the way they made these leads here. One of these has an extra terminal on it. So if on the common terminal block back in here, there were no spaces available, you could actually essentially create a space by using this on that location and then you can slide one of those existing connections onto this. Now, we're gonna connect these to specifically the Herm terminal, which is right here, and the Common terminal back there. So we're gonna avoid connecting anything to the fan because that's not the purpose of the hard start kit. It's for starting the compressor, not the fan. We'll go ahead and put our connection there on the Common block and then the other side goes on the Herm. It doesn't matter which lead goes where. Now that we've got our connection made, we're ready to test this thing. It almost goes without saying, but you would always make sure that you have a good run capacitor before you would try your hard start kit. But if you haven't already checked your capacitor, I'll link to a different video and a card right up here where I show you how to actually check the capacitor. The cool thing about this is that basically it's going to leave this start capacitor in the circuit momentarily and then disconnect itself from the circuit after the compressor starts or fails to start. As you can see right here, relay and hard start capacitor that is going to only temporarily leave this in the circuitry. I've actually seen hard start capacitors installed from the factory 
for certain units. I can't remember what the exact application was, but they really don't hurt anything. It's just giving it that extra boost that it needs to get started in certain situations. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my used to be fused, now non-fused disconnect and reconnect it here and let the air conditioner go ahead and start up so you guys see that this does work. My air conditioner is already working, so this is unnecessary, and I'm gonna take it back out when we're done, but I just wanna show you that it does run. Three, two, one. There she went. I don't know if it was just me or not, but it did actually sound a tiny bit different when it started there. It seemed like it kind of was a little bit more eager to start than usual. If your compressor did not start after installing the hard start kit, it probably means you have a bad compressor. If you have a good capacitor, good contactor, you have proper voltage and it still won't start, it's probably the end for your unit. It's either time to replace the entire thing or maybe consider putting in a compressor, but usually the cost of installing a compressor is better spent towards a replacement unit than it is on a compressor unless the compressor is still under warranty which in most cases should be about 10 years if you're the original purchaser of the equipment i'll link to this electrical tester in the description of the video as well this is one that i've been using for quite a while now what i like about this one is that it shows both the amps and the volts at the same time if you don't have a good multimeter yet uh, it's one of those probably top 10 tools that i would recommend having because if you ever want to troubleshoot anything electrically you really need to have a decent electrical tester otherwise you're kind of just guessing at everything that you're doing this is what allows you to see electricity i don't care if you buy one or not but just saying if you want to be prepared a little bit pick one up this is a fused disconnect and if we turn this around you can see right here there are some pieces of copper pipe i wasn't sure if i was going to show this to you guys or not because i'm worried someone's going to be like oh no he put copper pipe in the place of fuses which you're right i did and it's not a good practice as you can see i wrote right here with the sharpie protected by breaker when i went to install this particular heat pump and this is on my own property here the only disconnect that i had was a fused disconnect but i didn't have the correct size fuses but it's pretty much irrelevant because if you have a circuit that's protected by the correct sized breaker then you don't need a fused disconnect so what i should probably do is change this disconnect out for one that is non-fused so that I don't have this glaring issue and every time I go to disconnect it I'm trying to you know not let you guys see it. I kind of thought maybe I was going to have to make a how to install a compressor video for you guys on my heat pump but it looks like we dodged a bullet and are good to go for a while yet. If we need to keep working on your particular air conditioner let's do that right over here in this air conditioning playlist that I made just for you. If you found this to be helpful hit the thumbs up button. If you're watching this, Dad, uh, thanks for letting me borrow your hard start kit. I'm going to put it back in the service van now. And 